These are U.S. Air Force stealth fighters preparing for takeoff in South Korea on a deadly serious training mission this morning. Six of those F-22 Raptors are taking part in a large joint air drill with South Korea. The show of force follows North Korea's test of its most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile. A North Korean newspaper called the joint exercise an all-out provocation. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham told Face the Nation the Pentagon should take U.S. military families out of harm's way. It's crazy to send uh, spouses and children to South Korea, given the provocation of North Korea. So I want them to stop sending dependents. And I think it's now time to start moving American dependents out of South Korea. Ben Tracy flew with an Air Force squadron participating in the training. He's in Tokyo this morning. Ben, good morning. Good morning. The military exercises now underway involve 230 aircraft and 10,000 U.S. military personnel. We went to the U.S. Air Base in Misawa, Japan, and flew with the 35th Fighter Wing to see how they're preparing for the increasing threat from North Korea. I flew in the back seat of Major Richard Smeeting's F-16 fighter jet. He goes by the call sign Punch. Rotate the nose. Gear up. Here we go. Seconds into our flight, he punches our plane straight up in the air. We climb 13,000 feet at nearly 500 miles per hour. All right, comes the roll. Wow. Well, that's one way to take off. <laughs> Soon we are soaring right up the face of a massive snow capped mountain. <laughs> that was amazing. And minutes later, just barely above the surface of a lake. Pull up. Up. So how many feet off the ground are we? Uh, we are just over 100. You are ruining every roller coaster ride in my future. <laughs> but this is not a joy ride. For pilots like Punch, this is a serious training mission. All right, we're going to take it down. Ready? Yep. Flying low through the canyons of a Japanese mountain range helps him prepare for actual combat conditions in which he would try to avoid detection. What does this replicate in terms of combat flying? If there's any physical barrier between me and the missile sites or the radar, there's no way for them to be able to target me, much less shoot me. There are 44 F-16s at the Misawa Air Base, and in a war with North Korea, they would likely be the first plane sent in to take out enemy radar and North Korea's air defenses. If needed and if called on, we're ready, and we're ready to go right now, 100%. Colonel Scott Job is commander of the 35th Fighter Wing. He says repeated missile launches by North Korea have led the Air Force to increase the number, but also the complexity of their training exercises. To make sure that we're ready and prepared to respond to any sort of additional testing that the Kim regime does. That readiness means pilots like Punch are spending a lot of time on the ground making sure their F-16s are ready for action, and once in the air, that he's prepared for any mission he may be given. Uh, what's the mission we're flying today? Uh, we're doing a, a simulated strike mission. In this scenario, our plane flies low over the water until he spots the target ahead. We got the target area in sight. Here we go. We then pop up in the air and simulate dropping a bomb on an enemy port where weapons or cargo may be located. So did we neutralize the target? We got it. Everyone we talked to on the base said that they hope diplomacy works and it doesn't come to an actual military conflict with North Korea, but they say if it does, they are ready. As Punch confidently told me while we are flying, in terms of North Korea, we can handle that problem. Nora? I have no doubt that yes. Ken and Ben Tracy, nice flying up there. Great job. Appreciate it.